right, hey guys. Um, I thought we'd go back to some mixed media pieces today. This is an old canvas that I'm using actually, acrylic pour gone wrong. Um, so I figured I would just cover it up uh, with some 3D elements and such. Uh, yeah, let's get right to it. Hope you guys enjoy it. So I've got everything set in place right now. It's still moving around a little bit because it's very wet. Um, I'm going to let it dry overnight and then um, I'm going to go through with some white gesso and prime it all to keep it even more firmly in place. I do want to keep the 3D kind of elements of it though. So I don't know. I might actually go in with white spray paint so I can get like underneath everything. Um, whichever I do, I'll let you know, but then we'll get back to uh, decorating it. Okay, see you then. All right, hey guys, we're back. Um, <clears throat> this is like a whole week later because what I did decide to end up doing with this was I did three coats of um, spray primer before I went in with my white gesso uh, just to cover up a couple other spots. Um, and I, so I had to wait like a, a couple days in between doing all of that. Uh, I do apologize for the lighting. Um, <laughs> the weather is absolutely insane today. We're supposed to get down to freezing temperatures tonight and uh, just a little ways up the road, they're actually supposed to get snow in September. <laughs> like, where's my fall season gone? It's going straight to winter. But anyway, uh, so what we're gonna do right now is I'm actually going to focus on painting this center flower. And for that, I am going to use um, some Liquitex paints. I have the soft body acrylic and iridescent antique gold. And I have the basics um, in bronze. Now, the reason I'm doing this step first is because the acrylic paint, once it dries, it's set and no amount of water or anything is gonna mess it up. Because what we're gonna do uh, for the smaller flowers and the foliage around, um, is we're actually going to use some Distress Oxide Spray. I have this uh, Gathered Twigs here. And I just got this one, this Distress Mica Stain. I believe this is part of the 2023 Christmas line. It is absolutely gorgeous. Just a really, really deep, shiny red. Very pretty. Uh, but since those are water soluble, I don't want to do those first and then be smearing a bunch of stuff around when I add the paints. So uh, yeah, let's just get right into it.
So that's the first coat. I'm gonna let that dry just a little bit more before I go in with a second coat and basically just make sure I got all the little nooks and crannies and everything is, uh, you know, fully covered. I might actually, hmm, one moment. Yeah, so I think I will actually add just a little bit on the inside um, of this brighter gold. This is just the gold Liquitex Basics, um, just to give it a little bit a little bit brighter in the center and then it can come to the more antique cold out here on the outside. Um, so like I said, I'm gonna let this dry just for a little bit, go in, make sure everything's okay, uh, and then I will bring you guys back for the next step. Alright, so now that all that touch up is done, I don't even know if you can tell on camera, it's a lot more uh, noticeable in real life, but it definitely did brighten the center of that a little bit, which is exactly what I was looking for. Uh, so I'm going to give this another little dry and then we'll come in with the sprains, uh, uh, the sprains, <laughs> the sprays and uh, see what happens. See you then. Alrighty, we are back. Everything is dry. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go in with the sprays and the red because it's the deeper darker color I do want focus more towards the focal points and more underneath everything to give it a little bit more shadow I may have to go in with a couple of uh, darker watercolors after this we'll see um, how the count contrast comes out but then the uh, the gathered twigs, I want to be more on the outside with the foliage and the leaves. So hopefully that works out. Uh, we're just gonna start playing with it and let's see what happens. Okay, so really quickly, this is why I wanted to point out really fast the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the, flower got some of that red on it which was totally to be expected but what's nice is because the acrylic paint underneath it is already dry I can just keep adding water and then be able to soak it all up so that's why I went in first with the acrylic paint you're still gonna get some of the color in there, that's unavoidable, um, but it does help add dimension as well, so I'm okay with that. I just don't want it to be, you know, red, red. So yeah, we'll just keep going. So I'm gonna stop there for now. I actually really love the colors of this that turned out basically perfectly. <laughs> that uh, Gathered Twigs matches really well with the antique gold. This one. Uh, so I've noticed in a couple of spots uh, that the spray is not sticking. My guess is that is because that's where the varnish uh, the spray varnish is still uh, what's dominant as opposed to the um, gesso because the gesso it'll stick to I know for a fact so those are just spots that I guess um, were fairly covered by the spray and so I didn't gesso over them and I'm okay with it I think it looks pretty cool uh, so I'm going to let all of this dry um, I'm going to help it along dry and then we're going to do the last little bit all right, see you then. All right, so this is mostly dry, not quite. There's still a couple of wet spots in there, uh, but I thought I would show you. I'm actually, it's starting to warm up finally. So I'm gonna take these off, there we go. Uh, they're just slip-on sleeves, guys. I didn't like get naked or anything. Um, 
I thought I'd show you how I get rid of this. So see, I've got a little more red in there than I want. So what I do is I just take a clean brush with water and wet the area that I want to pick up. And that'll pull some of that red off of there. You're still gonna have a little bit. Like I said, it's, it's unavoidable. But that's why I did the acrylic first so that that would stay where it is and then I can manipulate the inks on top to give me more of the look that I want. There's a good bit of red right there. So see, there's still a little bit, but it's pulling up a lot of that. Do make sure you keep getting clean water. So yeah, I'm gonna clean that up. Um, and then once everything is fully dry, I will be back with you. All right. All right. All right. This is mostly dry. I, I did get a little <laughs> bit wet on this flower still from having to pull the red off. Uh, but you can see I was able to remove a lot of that. Not all of it. And I kind of want to keep some of it because I want to, you know, make sure that the piece is still cohesive. Um, so the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a little, a, a couple little touches of white back into this. Um, so what I'm using is I'm using a rough brush. This is very stiff, very old. I even cut it back to make sure it was more of a dab, dabby kind of thing. <laughs> is, that a, is that the right way to say? It? I don't know. Uh, I'm sure you get what I mean. Uh, but just in a select few places, I'm just going to go in and add a little bit of white gesso back just to uh, bring a couple of elements farther to the front. Um, after that, we're just gonna have to gesso it and it'll be done and I want to show you actually really quickly if I can I don't know if I can pick this up on camera right now the beautiful shine that you get from that red mica I don't know if you can see it I really hope you can it's so so pretty um, but yeah, so I'm going to get to adding those little touches of white back in and then all I'll have to do is varnish it, but I'll end it with y'all there because it's going to take a few days for the varnish and everything to dry. Um, so I need to get this video up so you guys can have something to watch. So to do this little bouncing technique, maybe that's a better way to put it, is I'm making sure that there's not, I don't know if you can see that. I'm putting my brush in the paint and then I'm, I'm tapping it until I get this kind of uh, looser texture on it. Um, I don't want it to be completely, completely, you know, white. So I'm just gonna pull out a couple of these spots that I want to stand out a little bit more and we'll be done. All right, I will show you the final result. Okay, officially done. <laughs> uh, well, am I? I kind of want to add some white splatters. Oh no, guys. I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, this is so tough. You know what, screw it. You can never go wrong with splatters. Okay, fingers crossed. They don't want any splatters 
on the main flower. <laughs> Don't mind if some get on the petals around, that's fine. Whoop, it's not getting into my fabric right there. That is being used for something. You don't want to mess it up. So, oops. Okay, you know what? Yes, I'm quite happy with that. I'm glad I decided to add the spatters. Okay, let me clean up my desk really quickly. Here we are. What do you guys think? I am very happy with it actually. I think it turned out fabulous. Let me see if I can now get you. Oh, you can kind of see it down here. It's showing. It's very sparkly. I wish I could show it off better for you. Hmm. Give me one second. Let me see if I can find another light source to help with that. Okay, I think you can see it a little bit better now. So, beautiful shine. I really wish my camera would pick more of that up, but uh, yeah, it's very fall colors. I love this piece. So, there we are. Let me know in the comment below what you think. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but I had gone a little too far with the white on some of these petals, bringing them forward. And I just went back over with the original color that I'd used. I also decided to darken the inside of the flower instead of making it lighter. I don't know what possessed me to make it lighter the first time around. Uh, but this is going to shine really, really beautifully once the varnish is on there. I am so sorry. My camera can't really... Well, you can kind of see it there. Uh but it's not picking it up as much as I wish it was. So anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Let's see if I don't black my backlight. Does that help? <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave a comment below. What kind of colors would you use for something like this? Would you even use, you know, paints or anything? Or would you just use the flowers as they are? Because that's a totally viable option. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I hope you guys are too. If you enjoyed the video, please do give me a like. Uh, please subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!